guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have some sad news. I broke my book buying ban. I literally gave myself a month. I said do not buy one book in 28 days. And you made it. But, I just, I couldn't help it. So, today's video is a haul. Now, I am very, very proud of myself because technically I only bought three books for myself. I did end up buying four, but I bought a book for a friend of mine and I gave that to her for her birthday and just, hey, I was thinking of you when I saw this, so I got it for you type thing. I, in total, only spent $20 on the four books that I bought. They were all $5 a piece. So, without further ado, I think I'll just show you what I got in exchange for breaking my 28-day book buying ban. The first book that I got is No Way Up by Mary Connolly, and this is the Simmerin Legacy Book 1. I got book 2 um, in January, and it was kind of like it was Mary Connolly, somebody was selling it for a couple dollars, so I bought it. And I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that it was book two. And so my friend Becca and I actually went and got together this month. It was so exciting. And we spent some time together at the bookstore and then went out to lunch. But in the process, we both kind of broke our book buying ban, so we kind of sort of set for ourselves. And we bought books. But we both did really good. Becca, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me. We did good girl. So I only bought this one and it was only $5. But they don't always have book one. Like I've seen them carry book two in the bargain section. But they only had one copy of book one. So I knew I had to get it. Especially for only $5. And how on earth are you supposed to walk into a bookstore and not come out with books? It just feels wrong. So I had to buy this book. The next book I got is She Believes by Debbie Lindell and this is Embracing the Life You Were Created to Live. This is a Christian living, Christian women type self-help almost book. Again, I've been really getting into nonfiction or at least trying to. So when I saw this, something about it just resonated in me that like I needed to pick it up. And the price didn't bother me either since it was only five dollars. So I bought this one as well and I just you know when I f when you see a book that you feel like you need I should probably refrain from my hand when you see like a nonfiction book that's Christian or even like a biography and you just feel like you need to read that story or you need to hear what these people are saying I feel like book buying bands shouldn't technically include those because why are you stepping out of God saying like hey there could be something here for you pick it up so that's my mindset and I just feel like this can really really enhance my life so I'm excited to read it and again beautiful cover doesn't bother me either and the last book that I got this month for myself that I'm keeping again I don't have the other book to show you since I didn't buy it for myself it is Colliding with Destiny by Sarah Jakes and this is Finding Hope in the Legacy of Ruth. And technically, I didn't buy this for myself. I bought it for the Bible study that I am currently holding with a lady from my church. We are currently studying the legacy of Esther and the Esther anointing. And I've always loved Ruth. And the author of the Esther anointing has one about Abigail and one about Deborah, but there isn't one about Ruth. And yes, Ruth and Esther are pretty much everywhere, but I feel like Ruth is a wonderful story in and of itself, so I wanted to find something that could help. And this is finding hope in the legacy of Ruth, and I just feel like, again, I just saw it like it was an accident that I even saw it. They had one copy, and I wasn't even looking in that area, but something just pulled me over there. I saw it. And I kind of had like a mini panic attack, like excited, screaming, jumping for joy thing because I read it 
And I knew she'd love it, and I knew that I would love it, and I knew that it would be perfect after we finish the Esther anointing. So I went ahead and picked this one up as well. I told you, I did pretty good in the month of February. I only bought four books, and only technically bought three books for myself, and I was actually pretty proud of myself because there were many, many, many others that I totally could have gotten, but held off because I was being a good girl. Hope you enjoyed this short little haul where I showed you what I broke my book buying ban for. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Let me know of any Christian living or women's fiction or non-fiction really that has touched your life and that has really reached out to you. Or if you have any stories of a book that just totally grabbed your attention and you felt like you needed to read it, I would love to hear those stories. They always make me smile. You can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction at blogspot.com, where I blog every Friday. And you can check out my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction, where you'll probably see these nonfiction books and some pictures because they're so photogenic. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.